Hello to all survey nights out there. This week at Surveyon, we are spreading awareness on information security and observing it as Security Awareness Week 2020. I want to talk about two things here. One, on the importance of information security. And two, an overview on phishing. We all should recognize the importance of information security and abide by its policies put forth by our organization. The cost of non-compliance with respect to information security can be very steep and detrimental for an organization of our size. Loss of data is loss of trust. And if we lose customer data, then there could be huge financial and business losses as well. So it becomes very important to inculcate habits that uphold information security and also abide by its policies. Now let me talk about phishing. Oh, oh not this phishing, but it's very, very similar. There's a hook and a bait. And when we take the bait, we get hooked. In the same way, it's an attempt by cyber criminals to steal personal and financial information or sometimes even to infect computers and other devices with viruses and malware. Now, how do they do that? I'm sure we all have received emails and calls from one's own bank and even from government departments. This might seem and appear that it's coming from an authentic source, but it may not. We believe and trust in those emails and calls and we provide them with sensitive confidential and even financial information. This is phishing. There are various types of phishing, just like how you go for sea fishing, freshwater fishing, and even ice fishing. Here, cyber criminals use different methods to target different audiences. The first one being mass phishing. This is the most common type of phishing where the attacker sends mass emails and random people are targeted and whoever takes the bait will provide them with the information. And then you have spear phishing. Here attackers target an individual. They send mails to a particular individual and they obtain information and this, this is what spear phishing is. And the next one is whaling. It's just like spear phishing but here High-valued individuals are targeted. Maybe if top executives from large organizations are targeted, and that's what whaling is. And the final one is clone phishing. Here the attacker makes an exact replica of an email which was already delivered. Now the phishing email is a cloned email, and many times we are very familiar with the mails that we receive. And these mails look so authentic that we will take the bait. Sometimes attackers may add malicious content into these mails and this becomes very dangerous. Now, how do we stop phishing? As long as we have hackers and cyber criminals, phishing mails and calls would keep coming. What we can do would be to detect and act. In our organization, when a mail comes from a non on domain, we get a notification on the same mail. It says the sender of this email is from non on domain. Please look out for this notification and be careful while you respond to those mails. Look for spelling errors, lack of punctuation, and poor grammar. Those are signs of phishing mails. If you have a hyperlink on your mail, it's a good practice to take your mouse and hover over it and find if it differs from the actual one displayed there. Please, please do not fall for mails which announces lottery wins or any free gifts. Check for legitimacy before acting on requests, especially for financial information and donations. These are some of the simple steps that we can take that we don't fall for these fishing mates. Thank you and don't take the bait.